Hi, my name is Matthew, Principal Solutions Architect with Security Scorecard. And today we're very proud to announce that in conjunction with our partnership with the Cloud Security Alliance, we have launched our CSA CCM framework mappings. Security Scorecard is an outside in security visibility platform that allows you to look at yourself, your third parties, your partners, your competitors, really any organization anywhere in the world that has a presence on the internet, we can generate a security scorecard for it. This is an A through F grade that is updated daily, reflecting the security posture, health and hygiene of the organization as seen from a hacker's eye view. So if we open one of these scorecards, what we see is an overall score and 10 factor scores the overall score is a weighted average rolled up from these 10 factor scores. And each of these factors contains specific issues that we look for across the internet and across the footprint that we have discovered for the organization that could lead to breach. Before any scorecard can be surfaced, we first uncover what those domains, subdomains, related domains and resulting IPs are that define the footprint of the company, and we do so automatically. We update this daily as we crawl the internet daily, touching every single IP in the IPv4 internet. Against this list of IPs and domains, we find those issues and problems, such as things like certificate problems, LDAP servers being exposed to the internet, remote desktop protocol, a favorite way for ransomware attackers to get into organizations. These issues could go across categories such as network security, DNS, patching, endpoint update cadences, and uh, you know, active malware infections, website security, and, and more. So when you take the issues that we assemble for a particular scorecard, you can now look at any organization's scorecard through the lens of the CSA CCM version four. Simply go to the compliance tab for any scorecard, choose the CSA Cloud Controls Matrix CCM version four. And then if you pull this little slider here, what you get is a truncated list down to any of the framework items where we might have issues mapped. So if we look at these particularly, here's one on cryptography and encryption. And what we're surfacing are the active findings visible right now on the internet for this organization that indicate that they may not be compliant with this particular framework item. Problems like expired certificates, certificates without revocation control, weak cipher suites being used in the TLS certificates. These are all cryptography related problems that could spell non-compliance. Whenever we don't find issues but are looking for them, then we will give a green check mark with no SSC issues apply. This is a very useful function, not only to look at yourself and pre-audit yourself if you wish, but also to validate the answers that you may be getting back on a questionnaire like the CAIQ 4.0.2, being able to look past the answers to see if there are any indications that perhaps the organization is in fact not compliant when they say they are. And if there are items on these lists that you feel need remediation, Security Scorecard does include a full remediation workflow such that you can create a score plan for this vendor and include many of the issues that you saw surfaced against the CCM or even other types of issues that might be of concern with respect to you trusting them with your data as a vendor. So I might wanna add this weak protocol over to my, my score plan, which I can then download and share with this vendor who would then be able to start working on the specifics of these various issues. Notice if they were to fix all of the issues in this list, their score would go up from a 79 to an A92. So all of this functionality is available to you right now using the complimentary enterprise license offer that we have in conjunction with our partnership with CSA and its members. We urge you to take advantage of it and hope this makes your lives easier. Thanks and have a great day.